36 points. They're fourth right now in the West. Here's Nick Pereira. And he scores. Wow. He just works over Cardenas in the corner, takes an impossible angle shot, and Nick Pereira makes it 1-0 just like that. For the opening goal of the game, Nick Pereira, talk about how much I've enjoyed watching Danny Waltman play over the years. No different. Leo's looking for back door, and Stenny's going to beat Cox on the wall and just miss. Nick did something I've never seen anyone do. Here's Rojo doing what he does best, which is rip it into the net, baby. Juan Manuel Rojo on his runway, cuts inside, finds open purchase, and delivers the equalizer for 1-1. One -one. This is indeed what he does best, and any time he gets the ball even somewhat isolated on those left-sided boards, drop of the shoulder, dip inside, crack with the right foot, far post, upper V, Rojo at his absolute finest. Shane Butler out of the way. Now oh. Leo diving in. Leo laying off for Childs who misses. Oh. And we try a skeet match yeah. up to try and keep you up to date. Here's Childs turning shot and Waltman stays with it. Turns, pivots, got Charlie out of the way. Shot and using his shins for the save was Danny Waltman. And then Mitchell deflected goal to boy Morgan. His 24th of the year to lead the team, putting the Sockers ahead 2-1. to one. And that's just a target forwards goal right there. Cardenas, deflected, look out! Big save, Pardo, denying Mike Ramos. Shoot, Mitchell, <laughs> watching for the drag. He can shoot, he can pass both feet, puts it in the middle, oh. Pardo. Instead, it's taken away from Leo. Leo, here comes Pardo. Pardo gets a touch. Outside the crease denying Ramon Ramirez. Quarter. May just not be one. Caceres shoots and Pardo's got it in his hands. Tilted toward the eastern goal. Corey Keats save the oh. rebound. Header wide. Third chance. Poyo got it away from Juice at the last Blue. second. Pereira's waiting on the wing and he will shoot. And Cardenas almost deflected it in. And then Crespo got the shot away. And Pardo dives. Yeah. Right in front of Chiva Ramirez. One of the most unstoppable players in the league. Escoto save. Waltman, second save to keep that ball out of the net. By Correa. Uh, make that Ramirez. Shot, diving save. Rojo denied by Waltman. For it for San Diego. Cerda back to Gonzalez. Felipe Gonzalez. Cerda. 8.25 running clock, third quarter. Cox jukes Ooh. by Brandon. Oh, Escoto by. goes by Cerda too. Off the wall and off the gloves of Boris Pardo. Jamal Cox saying, I got the juice. Here's Pereira. Little knee in the back there from Pino getting oh. away with everything he can. Bodies down, delay, and a goal for Tacoma. Golasso, Alan Crespo. Goal! For that challenge from Escoto. So Tacoma would have had a power play. Instead, they have an equalizing goal. And Pardo's saying it should be a penalty the other way. <laughs> Debatable. And I'm saying. Crespo, meanwhile, what this is finish. what the. set piece there for Tacoma and now heading the other way and getting taken to the floor with no whistle coming he gets the I mean Pee Wee touches the ball and then Jones fouls situation. it is a blue card and it's a common foul in this situation is a 1v1 opportunity right. to keep but wait they're, are, they're reviewing the same play yeah and, and immediately they wave it off and, and there was no handball before the foul handball. okay okay blue okay it's for a real Critical juncture here for San Diego. Take the lead. We'll see. Here's a drive to the far post, and there's your lead. Goal! Back to Childs, and once he gets the space to shoot to the far post, he makes no mistake about it. None whatsoever, my friend. And uh, Childs gets a very simple two-man assist. Sometimes it just takes two guys on the power play. Never mind the rest <laughs> of the five. A simple two-man game to get Charlie to that lethal right foot. His sixth power play goal of the season to lead the club. White clad visitors from the Pacific Northwest with Nick Pereira on his left foot. See the captain's armband on the left arm. Here's Felipe Gonzalez trying to find the other captain, Craig Childs. He's going to find Craig Childs. Oh, baby. Who scuffs the volley. 
the sub here. A few new players in. Here's Rojo driving! Goal! The right foot of Juan Manuel Rojo. In the final period. Tavoy Morgan to Serda. Serda back to Tavoy. A few tugs of a few shirts and play on, say, the men in red. The TJ counter could be on. Gutierrez in his quarter. Christian Gutierrez in his quarter. Just missed. And Juice Cox is there, and Gutierrez says no. And then Pereira says, I've played beach soccer. Check me out. Great move. Yeah. And he spins himself free and oh. scores. Lordy. Nick Pereira with a little shrug. Showing you what the man can do. He did it. He did the thing. I'll say it like I did last time for, for Frank. That's a man's goal. That's a clinician's goal. That's a special goal. 4-3. I mean, from the time he brought it down, there's one thing in his mind. I'm going to dribble through you. I'm going to dribble through you. I'm going to shoot past you and through you. One goal game just like that. And it's back to Keats. And it's Pereira. And it's the open goal. Wow. Chiba Ramirez has tied it at four, and he might be a man to help turn the table upside down in the West. And from a bit of helter-skelter for Tacoma there with Nick Pereira inadvertently hitting one off his own face and then just blasting off the far side boards. Once this thing calmed down, that's beautiful team soccer. That's tic-tac-toe. Here's Rojo. Rojo, 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 there he goes. Rojo off the wall. Oh. Keats scrambles the ball away. Yeah, there's plenty of time before that for either team to score. And there's Pereira out there. And look at Leo. Oh. Leo. Keep looking. Rojo with Golden. Rojo, Golden off the wall. Rojo looking for the hat trick. And it was a slide tackle of the ball by the captain, Caceres. And in fact, Tacoma knows what they want to do. They absolutely do. I was thinking just that. They'd be wise to just hold here i mean nick saying give me the ball in the corner but only with only with like 10 seconds left yeah one shot oh, run it down like take no chances here oh what a harsh break this is for the empire strikers mitchell heads it gutierrez lifts it no oh, that's gonna be it punted forward three seconds not possibly oh it could possibly be Blumman makes the save oh, handball. it was going to be a handball okay. against Gonzalez anyway okay Blumman just for show but my goodness wow. what a turn of events Craig, holy cannoli in the MASL standings oh man oh the man stars get the point it's huge and if they win in overtime they're, they're at 38 and then again Empire is yeah. Looking at being out. Off the wall. Pereira. And guess who's back in net? With a win on the line. It's Boris Pardo. Pardo sends it forward. That can mean everything. Childs chests it down. The captain. Working past referee Shane Butler. Pollo casually circles by, and it's Rojo in his office on a 1v1 again. Isolation. Rojo! 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 Goal! Suckers! The home streak's alive at 22! Rojo has a hat trick, and the Suckers have won again! 5-4! I said the left-sided boards at Pachanga Arena, San Diego, the home away from home for the Tijuanense Juan Manuel Rojo. I think you might just set up shop over there permanently. Stay here till Easter Sunday. You know where you need to be. Juan Manuel Rojo, isolated in space, 1v1 with the defender, on the left wing, up against the boards, with a head of steam, for the win. For the win.